Ever since Donald Trump was elected, two-time failed presidential candidate John McCain has been working overtime to destroy Trump's agenda. McCain has not once but twice halted the efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare in the last several months, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. McCain has bashed President Trump every chance he gets, and now is taking his treasonous behavior to the next level that will surely anger every American. Senator McCain loves to point to his military service to prove that he is a man of high integrity. However that picture appears to fall apart when you study his political career over the years, and his behavior since Donald Trump was elected. Instead of McCain supporting the president, he appears to be dead set on making sure Trump fails at every turn. It should come as no surprise to anyone that McCain is now blocking confirmation hearings for President Donald Trump's nominees for the Pentagon, because he opposes Trump's presidency. McCain Chairman of the Senate Committee on Armed Services, announced on Tuesday that he would actively block hearing to appoint positions in the Pentagon until Trump answers what his Afghanistan entail. According to the Daily Caller, McCain spoke to Defense Secretary James Mattis and Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman and Marine General Joseph Dunford, that he will do what he can to prevent the Trump administration from appointing the much-needed officials in the Pentagon until he has more questions answered. There are not two individuals that I admire more than are sitting at the table facing this committee, but I want to tell you again, we will not accept a lack of information, a lack of strategy, a lack of coordination with this committee, McCain said. And there are several methods, thanks to the Constitution, that we have to try and force a change in that relationship. I've been told by both of you that we are having a strategy, that we are now going to work closely together with the committee, that we are working with various allies. I'm glad to hear that. The Trump administration finally issued a strategy for Afghanistan in late August, and although it entails sending more troops to the region to advise to the Afghan military, it's unclear in the strategy what conditions would count as success. The Pentagon intends to send about 3,000 more troops to the conflict. McCain's hold comes at a time when 70 percent of Pentagon positions that require Senate confirmation remain unfilled, which means that the hold will delay the filling of those positions even further, as the Trump administration has been much slower at filling positions than past administrations. There's a number of them that have been awaiting hearings and confirmations, some have had hearings, McCain said. The Constitution says that the Senate has the obligation to advise and consent. I am in keeping with the Constitution of the United States. When I got re-elected, I said I would support and defend the Constitution, I didn't say I would support and defend the President of the United States. The delay is preventing the confirmation of Trump's pick for Secretary of the Army, Mark Hesper and his pick for Under Secretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness, Robert Wilkie. Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand also asked Mattis, if he'd be more publicly open about troop deployments. No, ma'am, if it involves telling the enemy anything that will help them, and yes, ma'am, if it involves honesty with this committee in private, at any time, at closed hearing, we will get as specific as you wish. No reservations at all in private, Mattis replied. It appears that this all boils down to the fact that McCain is upset that he has not been included in the planning on how to proceed in Afghanistan. So instead of pulling up his big boy pants, he will block all efforts to staff the Pentagon that is currently only staffed at 30 percent. President Trump needs the Senate to start the confirmation process quickly to fill the vacated seats. Of course, McCain has been doing his best to frame his treasonous behavior as due diligence, but the American has seen right through his shameful facade. McCain is doing his best to ensure that Trump's presidency fails due to his own personal failures in life. McCain has openly criticized Trump from his stance with North Korea to his thwarting efforts to repeal Obamacare. It has become glaringly obvious that McCain has chosen to help his friends in the Democratic Party over the American people which is disgusting. It is too bad that McCain cannot put aside his personal vendetta for the good of the country, and resign his position. It is the time that McCain ends his political games and starts helping President Trump do the job the American people hired him to do. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel.